Hey, y'all, babies. It's me, Helena. You have to see a pool over. Halloween night. Can you believe it? My most favorite night of the year. And I'm stuck babysitting Tommy Doyle and stupid Lindsay Wallace from across the street. I was all set to go to Mr. Kruger's big Halloween soiree. Then Mrs. Doyle calls. Helena, she says. Mr. Doyle's been asked to speak at a big church function this evening. You just have to watch Tommy for us. I tried to tell him I had other plans. You know, it's totally insane. We have three new cheers to learn in the morning. The game is in the afternoon. I have to get my hair done at five, and the dance is at eight. I'll be totally wiped out. I don't think you have enough to do tomorrow. Totally. Oh, Helena, she says. You don't want Tommy to miss trick or treats, do you? I can't bear the thought of anyone missing trick or treats. So without even thinking, I just blurted out, sure, I'll watch Tommy for you. I wanted to take it back. I really did. But then I thought of poor Tommy, spending his Halloween night surrounded by frightened Bible thumpers, hey, oblivious hey, to the fact that most of their religious him, holidays were co-opted from pagan rituals in the third and fourth centuries. I mean, that doesn't sound like any fun at all. Lonnie Emerson, that's a haunted house. He said awful stuff happened there once. Lonnie Lamb probably won't get out of the sixth grade. What a spot. Then I figured, how bad could it be? Marguerite's already stuck watching Lindsay from across the street. We could call and keep each other company. Remember, Scotty? I remember. Then Marguerite says to me, You're already watching Tommy, so why don't you watch Lindsay too so I can go to the party with the guy I met at the Spirit Halloween store? Besides, I'm on my way to pick up Paul. Wait a minute. Oh, no! And after all, I'm done for her, too. Can you believe the nerve of that sneaky, conniving, backstabbing, anorexic, trashy little... It's probably her calling to tell me what a great time I'm missing. Hello, Doyle residents. Annie? Annie? Holy whore host, Batman. It's my ex-boyfriend's Michael. Pants you know, Michael Myers, the one who proposed, and I said no because I thought we were too young, but maybe we weren't, and... With his heart wrapped around oh, how did he know I was here? You've got to believe me, officer, he is coming to Haddonfield. He wants to see me tonight. All right, I am strong and independent and can handle this. I'll simply tell him, Michael, there are children here, and you cannot come over no matter how much you are. Or I may want you to. The days of dress up show and tell sexy smoochy time are long over. So, you got here quick. Haddonfield is 150 miles away from here. Now, now for God's sakes, he can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. Our first date was on Halloween night. Every year since we broke up, he calls me for old times' sake, hanky-panky. Well, I am not that easy. At least I won't be this year. Coffee. Terrific. I've got three choices. Watch the kids sleep, listen to Linda screw around, or talk to you. Then I was like, Rob Zombie's making Coffee, movies. Sir. I mean, he's a rock star, right? Last time I checked, the girl teach you to film directing a rock star school. Then again, his stuff's pretty good, except he puts his wife in everything he does. But since she's not half bad and kind of pretty, I guess it's okay. So are you seeing anyone? Three hours not that I can't. Really? Why won't you talk to me, Michael? You know, see, this is why it never worked out. You just sit there with your blank expression, not saying anything. And just breathing hard with your sexy body and your big butcher knife. Really? Is sex all you think about? That's not true. I think about lots of things. Now, why don't we not stand here talking about them and get down to doing them? Check it against your magnetic. All right. Fine. It's not like either of us are dating anyone, right? So no one's getting hurt here. Lori? Who's Lori? Happy Halloween.
Halloween doll babies. Oh, please, judge me. The man may not have very many interests, but what he does, he does well. Till next time, Nighty Night Mance. Did you get my beer? Oh, Michael. Are you still into the whole kinky sheet and glasses thing? I mean, what about plain vanilla missionary? It's popular with women for a reason. <laughs>